do their video. I'm just going to go off the top because I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to tell you exactly the things that I wish were different or things that I don't like about the FL5 Type R. So the third thing that I'm going to say I don't like, it's going to have to do on the interior. And it is two, one, go. Sorry, I'm doing this video uh, inside the garage. It's been raining for the past couple of days in Florida in our location. So yeah, so we haven't been able to take the car out to do you know any fun videos. So I figured I'd do you know five things I dislike about my 2023 FL5 Honda Civic Type R. And I know a lot of people when they do these, they have them like I don't know, they'll they'll have it written out or they'll they'll have you know some some form of a actual written out list or something prep to do their video. I'm just gonna go off the top because I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna tell you exactly the things that I wish were different or things that I don't like about the FL5 Type R. Uh, it, I already know it's gonna be difficult to do because I love this car. There's a lot of things to love about it, but I'll go into detail and tell you a few of the things that I do not like. And yeah, now, oh yeah, and it, I'm pretty sure I already apologized, but I'll do it again. Um, doing this video in the garage because it's pouring rain outside. I'm sure you can probably hear it in the background. So yeah, uh, that's why we're doing it in the garage. So just, you know, stick with me because it's gonna be important information if you're looking to buy one of these cars and you wanna know what the drawbacks are. And speaking of which, um, I wanna shout out to other members of the MOC because they bring you videos like that too. We provide a lot of value into like people that are cross shopping cars and stuff. You know, Cuda Chaotic has the Acura Integra Type S. Uh, he also has a GR Corolla. We got uh, Blueprint One Ali. He has a uh, modified Camaro SS One Ali. Um, and I think he's gonna be adding something else soon. Then we have 100 Gang Nate has a Honda Civic Type R like mine. And I think he's going to be adding something new. And of course, you see me with the WRX and the Type R. So subscribe to all of our channels. That's the Meta Culture. That's Hunter Gang Nate, Q to Chaotic, Blueprint One Lee, and of course ourselves, Race Car Friends. So yeah, without further ado, let me get into these five reasons or five things that I dislike about my 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Let's go. So the number one thing that it, that I dislike about my 2023 FL5 Honda Civic Type R is the price and not the not the msrp but you know the dealership add-ons and the markups you know the market adjustments that you're gonna have to pay at some dealerships now mind you some dealerships you know you can get these at very close to msrp i know we have a couple dealerships in florida where you can get them at five thousand over msrp if you guys make want me to make a video talking about the dealerships where you can get them at fair, fairly priced let me know or even like the dealership where I got mine at where they, I think they charged me 10 over, but they gave me 10 over on a trade. So it made up for it. So it kind of washed it out. And there are some dealerships that would, that would do that as well. So yeah, let me know if you want me to go over, you know, uh, do a video like that, let you know where you can go to get your Honda Civic Type R at a fair price. But, uh, but yeah, so the first thing would be the dealership add-ons or the dealership markups. That's a... Uh, that's not something that I'm very fond of with these cars. All right, so that's the first thing I don't like. My second dislike, it's gonna be these right here, man. I cannot stand these windshield wipers. Like, well, the not necessarily a wiper, but how it shoots out the water from here instead of down here. Like, I can't stand it because every time you hit it for it to spray out water, the windshield wiper moves all the way over and it's basically like squirting the water across to the other car instead of actually wetting your windshield. I don't. I think that's a poor design. I'm not a fan of it. Do not like that. All right. The second. Uh, so, uh, sorry, that's the second. So, so the third thing that I'm gonna say I don't like, it's gonna have to do on the interior, and it is in the back seat area. I do not like that they made this a you know a two seater in the back here instead of a three like i think this car would have been a much better vehicle had it had three rows instead of two so then it can be like the ultimate family car where you can you know strap in three car seats like how i can do 
in here in my uh, 2023 Subaru WRX. That was one of the reasons why I needed to get a Subaru WRX as well, all right? Which leads me to the next issue, something that I think that, uh, you know, Honda could have done a little bit better. And that would be if they made this color match with the rest of the seats like like come on guys like look how beautiful the front interior looks like the front interior is you know you got the red carpets red everything you know red you know seats wonderful seats up front and then this here is black so that's the fourth reason i wish they just would have made everything here red i think that would have made a world of difference you know so two so you know so three and four is basically like with the rear seat. I wish they would have made it like uh, given it a third row and then get made it of the same material that the front seats are and made it red. Like I think that's, uh, that's the, fourth, the third and the fourth. And the fifth thing would be this right here. And as you guys can see, yes, it is raining like I said, but um, Let's see. Let's get this thing started up. So that's pretty cool and all, right? Now, the fifth thing has to do with, actually, let me lower up my music because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be loud. All right, let's lower the music. Let's go to, all right. So we got the Honda Log R in here. And my fifth and final thing that I wish Honda would have done better would have been to add a zero to 60 in quarter mile timer, just like how we had in my 2021 Camaro SS 1 Ali. And like all the Camaro SS uh, 1 Ali's, I believe they, they have them. I think even the SS's, regular SS's have them too. So, you know, we have like, data log and we have all, all this stuff where you can actually put in a track information and stuff like that but it doesn't have something that just says uh zero to 60 so we see data log center auto score settings use information smartphone vehicle information blah 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 3d color you know it has all that stuff but nothing you know yeah let me see you can set whether one of them is going to turn on blah 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 yeah not gonna do all that <laughs> So yeah, I just wish that it had a zero to 60, you know, timer, which, you know, it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to go out and I'm gonna purchase a race box and I will be doing uh, zero to 60 testing with the race box to, you know, to show you guys what kind of numbers we get with the race box. And we'll do it for the uh, WRX as well. And then, uh, then eventually we're gonna start modding these things and see what we can take them up to. Now, a lot of people would be like, oh, why didn't you mention like, uh, you know, rear wheel drive, like, or um, all wheel drive. And I think that this car is so good for what it is as a front wheel drive car, it does not need rear wheel drive. But uh, but that but that's it. So it was very difficult to come up with five reasons. You see, I was kind of nitpicking, but, um, but those are the five reasons why I would say why you should avoid the Type R. I'm sure number one would be very a very big one to a lot of people. But other than that, man, I think it's an amazing car. And if you can get it, definitely go out and get it. All right, uh, I'll be doing five things that I love about my Honda Civic Type R soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's it for this one, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, race car friends, out. Three. All right, hold on. Three, two, one, go.